told you niggas and that's not the fuck with me the other thing that i need you niggas to know is that i am fucking awesome bitch best believe it now nah. today on masturbate theater it will be another viewer's choice which is aka more facebook fuckery and today's topic starting topic will be about niggas who drink in the morning Hmm. Nah, I am what they call a reefologist, and I um, do believe in waking and baking, but, uh, nigga, if you're cracking a bottle at 9 a.m., like, when kids is going to school and shit, I mean, nigga, you need an intervention, uh, for you dumb niggas that don't know what interventions are, they are when a nigga or a bitch or somebody in your family gives a fuck about you, nigga, they uh run up and tell you right in your fucking face. Nigga, you need to stop. Nigga, something's wrong with you. Nigga, wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, crack a fifth of E&J, and take that bitch to the neck, and then drive a bus. Yo kids, bus. Kill everybody in the motherfucker. Nah. Nigga, that's crazy as hell. But, you know, it's niggas like that out here. Nah. Another thing that niggas do... That I don't understand. A nigga will ask you if you want to hit the bottle. No. Nah. Nigga, it's the morning time. I just ate eggs and bacon. The last motherfucking thing I'm thinking about is Hennessy. Nigga trying to make my motherfucking L. George's angry than a bitch in my stomach. That shit I can't get with. Now, another thing that I was asked to talk about was the continuation of whack-ass rappers, especially niggas from where I'm from. Now, it's going to be a bunch of you niggas that's not going to like the shit that come out of my mouth. But really, I don't give a damn. You nigga won't meet me in no dark street talking none of that bullshit because I keep my heat. Nah. If I hear one more nigga, just one more nigga, with the three B's in they goddamn rap from Detroit, I'm going to take this nigga Frisbee. Oops, my bad. Take this nigga CD, and that's what I'm going to do to the bitch. I'm going to Frisbee to some bitch straight out my motherfucking window. Because I'm getting tired of hearing niggas talking about bowls, bricks, and bitches. All in the same fucking verse. Now, you niggas got to do one of these things. Take your ass to a dictionary, Webster, hopefully. And throw that bitch in the air. When that some bitch fall, whatever page that that bitch fall on. Nigga, I don't need you to pick three words out that motherfucker. We call this shit the word of the day, bitch. Now, you gonna take three words. One of them motherfucking words is words you gonna use all motherfucking day. Now, you gonna use and try to find a way to use this word all motherfucking day. I'm gonna need you to do this. This is how you build your vocabulary, bitch. We're getting tired of you motherfuckers talking about the same shit. Each verse sound like the same thing. It sound like one nigga writing for four, five niggas is in that group. That don't make no damn sense. Now, I'm gonna need Another thing for you niggas to do. Now, Fruity Loops is a good motherfucking way for you niggas to make beats, but I'm tired of hearing the same boom, boom, ching. Now, you niggas is not whatever the hell my man name is, Lex Luger. You're not Lex Luger, nigga, so stop mimicking that niggas beats, nigga, and um, putting that Detroit whack bullshit on it. Because, niggas, I'm tired of it. Hold on. Shout-outs to my nigga, Choice the Lynx Major. Harris, 
He told me that he wanted me to talk to you niggas about whack ass rappers. Nah. It's gonna be a bunch of niggas, like I said, from Detroit that's not gonna like that shit, but you niggas lucky I'm not pointing fingers and calling names, bitch, because it's a bunch of you motherfuckers who see these I can't stand. I wouldn't use that bitch as a coaster for some old bullshit ass pop that's been flat for three days, nigga. Now stop with all the bullshit, okay? Next thing we're gonna talk about on Masturbate Theater tonight. We're going to talk about proper attire for when you bitch niggas and bitch ass bitches are in public. I am so fucking tired of seeing ratchet ass bitches in the mall with what they call linty or naughty ass motherfucking pajama pants, wrinkly ass chicken stain shirts with little Kool-Aid drops and rips right in the front. Wife beetles and shit. Bitch, I'ma need you to step your motherfucking mall game up. You got dirty tennis shoes on with last year's Easter colored motherfucking pajamas that you didn't look like you didn't came outside and played tag in with the rest of the kids in the neighborhood. Bitch, I need you to take that shit off. That is liquor store attire. You only go to the liquor store when you need to go get Rellos, condoms, and a little fruit juice, bitch. I'ma need you to stop wearing that shit in the motherfucking mall. Now, niggas, and I'm only speaking because I've seen this shit. I'ma truly need you niggas to understand that when you are in the mall, you should have on a fucking shirt. I should not see nothing there, niggas, motherfucking man boobs walking around in the motherfucking mall. Now, a shirt consists of wife beaters, undershirts with v-necks, or even a long sleeve with a collar, bitch. I'm just tired of seeing niggas walking around in the mall and thinking that it is okay for them niggas not to have on a shirt. I mean, what nigga did you forget that you was coming into a public place? No shirt, no shoes, no motherfucking service, bitch. Nah, I'm gonna need you niggas to understand this. Another thing that you niggas need to stop wearing is if I see one more nigga in rain boots and the nigga do not have a fireman truck hose or the nigga work at the sewage plant or shit, if the nigga don't do concrete work because my father has... A couple pair of them some bitches that he slumps through concrete in, and I understand the reason why, because he don't want the shit on his Wolverine boots that he got, but it's niggas buying rain boots, putting them on, and wearing them bitches, and tucking their motherfucking jeans in them, and I don't care, bitch, if it's Gucci, Burberry, motherfucking Polo, anything, bitch, if you're not fly fishing, fishing and stepping in three feet high, or waste high water with them some bitches. I'm gonna need you niggas to not wear that shit no damn more. It is not Katrina, nigga. The levees have not broken in Michigan. I'm gonna need you niggas to stop acting like it's flooding. I got tons of bitches to say this shit ain't cute, nigga. Nah. We gonna go over into some other shit. Because I'm just seen all types of ignorant shit as I go to work and uh, today I seen a nigga that was scratching and itching like the nigga had shirt bugs now when I say shirt bugs I mean the same shit that's in niggas beds that's biting the fuck out of niggas and making them wake up in the morning with red bumps and shit all over them this nigga looked like he might have had them in his t-shirt this nigga was scratching so hard that if the nigga would have had Wolverine claws. He probably would have been pulling skin off his goddamn body. I mean, goddamn nigga, did you need some calamine lotion or something or some hydrocortisone? Because this nigga was scratching. Weird shit that I see in the motherfucking public. Nah, let me see. What else is it that is that they talk about? Oh, niggas without IDs. Nah, it is 2012. Nigga, it is a misdemeanor in Michigan if your ass does not have an ID. Would you please be a grown-ass man and carry a motherfucking ID? If your ass get killed and have no ID and have may not never been to the... Would not be able to be identified. Now, niggas without IDs. Now, nigga, if... Say you don't even get killed. Say, nigga, you get hit by a car and get knocked unconscious, nigga. You in the motherfucking hospital. Nigga, your name is John Doe. Nobody knows who the fuck you are. And all your people is looking for your ass. Now you got a, a motherfucking missing persons 
because your bitch ass can't spend $13 at the Secretary of State to get your ass an ID. I'm going to need you to get an ID, Pippin. That was just Pippin facts for grown ass niggas. Thank you. Now, we're going to go back. A retract and let you know this is volume 2.9. Volumes mean that these some bitches come in between the parts. The parts are part one, part two, and part three, which will soon be coming of the mass debate theater. So I'm gonna need y'all to continue to tune in to Pippin and showing Pippin love. And I do appreciate it. Mm. This has been volume 2.9 of Mass Debate Theater, and I hope that you're having. A good right motherfucking time. And right please here, remember, Kevin. Well, you finish this tremendous fight? Yeah, I'll be gone. I'm headed back to the bar and get my drink on. Give me your double shot of any. No, I'll be feeling this shit. These seven mile niggas, they just be rocking this bitch.